All right, you guys, so the research continues here. Lately, I've been looking into diet and acne. This is all the research that's been done on diet and acne for the past two years, which is the last time that I looked into this. So here's some of it here. All very interesting stuff. Thank you, researchers, for doing this. And you also forgive me, I'm going to look over at my notes here while I'm doing this video. I'm going to give you guys a bottom line for those of you who just sort of want the bottom line, and then I'll get into the more technical stuff. So bottom line is we're showing that antioxidants might be helping with acne uh, a little bit more than we thought. So colorful fruits and vegetables. Also a low glycemic diet. Uh, I don't think the evidence is super compelling yet, but it can hurt to eat a low glycemic diet. Zinc, yes, still saying yes to zinc. More evidence coming out that 30 milligrams of zinc, of zinc per day should be helpful. And generally just don't expect miracles. Diet is not going to, oh, someone's Skyping me. Diet is not going to completely clear up your acne. I have not seen that happen uh, over the many years uh, that I've had acne.org. Not many people have been successful controlling their acne just with diet. So let's get into the specifics a little bit more. Starting with antioxidants, they're showing, at least in the lab, that vitamin E, A, and D can help mediate the effects of acne bacteria, the P. acnes bacteria. They're also finding that people who have acne have lower levels of vitamins E, A, and D in their system, and also zinc. And people who have more severe forms of acne have even lower levels of these things in their, in their uh, blood. So mo most compelling is, is the zinc element. There have been many studies at this point that have been done on zinc and acne, and the research is pretty compelling. There's a literature review that came out in the Journal of Drugs in Dermatology, and there's a quote in that literature review that says, the preponderance of the evidence suggests zinc has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects and that it may decrease sebum production. So, you know, I've been taking zinc somewhat regularly and since I've been doing this research, I've been taking it even more regularly. The upper level of tolerability for an adult is 40 milligrams of zinc per day and it becomes toxic at 100 milligrams. So I think it's prudent to take a 30 milligram pill per day. If you can only find a 50 milligram one, eh, just skip a day once in a while. Um, zinc gluconate may be a little bit better uh, as far as its bioavailability goes, so look for that. Another thing that they keep on researching is glycemic load and acne. And it makes common sense that if you eat a lower glycemic diet, that that helps you regulate your insulin production. Insulin is the master hormone. So when you have spikes in insulin, you have spikes in testosterone, you have spikes in growth hormone, and theoretically, spikes in testosterone and growth hormone can affect acne and can increase acne symptoms. The evidence that I've seen is not super compelling, uh, but it just it does make common sense. And hey, it can't hurt to eat a little bit healthier.